What's up guys, welcome to today's video. I'm psyched to bring you guys a brand new haircut. This is gonna be focused on layering wavy hair. Uh, we're gonna base it off a right hand side parting. I wanted to do it on a side parting because it's a little bit more difficult uh, because you're working with two different densities and I'll break that down as we go. So right hand side parting, draw a half U shape around to the parietal ridge that creates a nice asymmetrical section on the very top of the head. That's gonna be the only section, guys, in this entire haircut. So really, really simple and quick. And in this day and age, this COVID day and age, where we gotta get guests in and out of the salon, this is the best way to do it. So we're gonna start on the part side, uh, which we'll call the weak side. And what I mean by weak is it's the less dense side. There's not as much hair over there. So we gotta be cautious. We can't layer both sides exactly the same, right? So I take vertical sections, bring them in front of the head, not elevated up, uh, just a slight elevation, just to give a little bit of layering effect to it. And I bring everything to the front of the face because what that's gonna do is cut my shortest layers right in the front, and then it's gonna push longer layers into the back, which is what I'm going for in this cut. So just see how I continue bringing everything forward, and I do that until I run out of hair. All right, guys, so you can see the nice face frame effect that we created. Now we're on the heavy side of the head, right? Still underneath that parietal ridge section. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna elevate, still keeping my fingers parallel to the section, and I'm gonna cut my face frame this way. Now, elevating the hair creates a little bit shorter layers throughout the interior of this cut, which in turn takes out some of that density, which works really well because this is the heavier side and we wanna create a balanced look a balanced effect in this cut. So I'm gonna continue working my way down, bringing it to that stationary guide all the way through here until I run out of hair. All right guys, so now we're gonna work our way into the top. So I let down that top section and I'm gonna take diagonal forward sections uh, throughout the top and bring them over. I grab a little piece for my guideline and then I just connect those two together. This is gonna create a disconnection from the layers that we previously just cut, um, but that's okay, that's what we want. We want that disconnection. The disconnection creates less weight. So I just work my way through the top, diagonal forward partings, keeping my finger still parallel to the section now my elevation still being lower and I just work my way through until I run out of hair. All right, guys, so now that we finished that up, I'm just gonna cut the perimeter. This is something I like to do uh, in these cuts is focus on the interior first, then cut my exterior because I, I already know what I want the length to be, but you wanna make the layers right. Now look at that wave popping out. Uh, I picked my favorite cream-based uh, gel uh, product for the curl, and then I'm blow drying, using my Dyson blow dryer just to scrunch up the hair. The key here to get a good curl in the hair is just not to touch the hair too much. Let the blow dryer do its work. Uh, and then once it starts to get a little bit drier, about 80% dry, you can start putting your hands in it, breaking the curl up a little bit, and then hit it with your favorite finishing spray to finish off the look. So um, you guys can see the explosion of layers, but the balance is the key thing. Looking at that heavy side doesn't look much different than the light side because of the elevation that we took. So hope you guys like this video. Hope you took a lot of tips from it, short and quick uh, and easy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys on the next video. By the way, guys, freesaloneducation.com is powered by my friends at Minerva Beauty. If you're looking to upgrade your salon furniture or equipment, they're the best in the business. Uh, they've been supporting free salon education for a long time. So go give them some support. Uh, check out MinervaBeauty.com and at MinervaBeauty on Instagram.